Welcome to Red News. I'm Steve, your host. Today I've got some special guests to tell us about plagues. Hi, I'm <coughs> Lacey and this is Hannah. First off, I would like to inform you about the symptoms of measles. You'll have a fever, a dry cough, a runny nose, a sore throat and conjunctivitis. Did you know that two schools have been shut down for a day? These schools are Levin and Lawrenceville. In four years, between 1347 and 1351, heaps of people lost loved ones because of a plague known as the Black Death. The medicine that we have today is strong enough to cure the Black Death, but it wasn't back then. Trust me, I wouldn't want to have the Black Death. One of the most famous plague outbreaks came to be known as the Great Plague of London. It struck the city in in late 1664 and over the course of almost 75,000 people died in the Great Plague of London. One morning, September the 2nd, 1666, a fire in London bakery went out of control. The majority of the city's buildings used thatched, bundling, sticks or reds as roofing materials. The fire raced across the thatch and within hours most of the city was ablaze. The Great Fire of London was yet another disaster for the city but in some ways it proved to be useful. The city's crowded, wrapped, infested housing had been reduced to ash. When bad the sewage systems were built in the way that helped keep the rats under control. After 1666, the plague did not affect the city on such a scale ever again. Thank you, Stacey and Hannah, for giving up your time to inform us about plagues. I hope you have learned something about plagues. Trust me, none of you want to be part of the Black Death.